top of the top. Today what we got in is yet another Chevy. <laughs> but this time, man, um, we was doing a little quick diagnostic on it or whatever. And uh, the customer stated that um, check engine light was on. I think they got a scan like AutoZone or something like that. And they were told that the oil pressure sensor was bad, right? So uh, we're going to jump right into it. Because, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't even need to, you know, say it. Hold on. But I do definitely want to show you guys a little something right quick. All right. On these, um, I want to say, fourth gen Chevy Tahoe Suburbans, G uh, GMC Yukons, Denali's, and all of that good jazz. If you ever run into an issue where you say it's low pressure right here, and then you have in this dead low pressure right there, and you don't hear like no knocking, no tapping, stuff like that, you don't have to go to 50 million people for them to tell you that this oil pressure sensor is not working at all. All right? So, with that being said, you all know we're repairing today. So, let's get straight into it. All right? I have already picked up the good old OEM, OEM, AC Delco oil pressure sensor. And when I'm doing these, I like to take the intake off. A lot of people go behind the intake with uh, with 15 different sockets and ratchet attachments and stuff like that, just so they can get that uh, oil pressure sensor socket. I mean, oil pressure sensor about all for this, so they don't have to take all the stuff off. But I like taking the intake off. And if you like me, you can take the intake off. I'm telling you now, you need to replace the good old um, intake manifold gas because when you put it back, even, no matter if you tighten it down in the sequence, you're gonna have a PO174 or 171 leak. Don't ask me why, I just don't know. I've taken them back up and inspected and seen if they had cracks and stuff like that to the gaskets. And they usually don't, but for some odd reason, every time I've changed the intake on one of these things, or change uh, the oil pressure sensor on one of these things, the intake manifold always, it doesn't leak hard, but it's like a little small leak. Right? So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and replace that as well. All right? So let's go ahead and get straight into it. I right? got the intake up, and I'm going to go ahead and say it again. A lot of people might, you know, ridicule the videos and things of that nature, but I'm going to clear something up right now. I'm not a flat rate tech. I work completely for myself, and I can still outrun a flat rate tech when it comes to this type of job because most of the time people like i said they reach around and then they doing all this fiddling and stuff like that i take the alternator all out my way so it's clearance when i'm pulling this intake and i pull this up and i like to clean around the intake ports and all that stuff you know just because you know i like doing clean and efficient jobs especially when it comes to these Chevys, man because i know these things like the back of my hand intake is up i'm going to pull it a few more times because we got some stuff caught up in here and I gotta, you know, wiggle it out a little bit and I can't do that with one hand. So we're gonna go ahead and get that out and then I'm gonna show you guys exactly the tool that you're gonna need to get that off. And once we get that, once we get the intake off, once I grab the tool that we're, we're gonna need, I'll go in depth about that and we're gonna get this one knocked out. All right, let's go. All right, now, this is why I like to take them off because you get to see what's going on. You can see if you got some oil leaking down in the valleys, as you can see we do, you know. And that's why I'm gonna clean all of this is up. This up, I'm sorry. I'm gonna clean all this up, change that old pressure sensor, and put the new everything new back on here. Hey, and like I said, as always, get the client back their vehicle. All right, tool that you will be needing is a. I just had the flipping freaking tool in my hand. This is an oil pressure sensor socket, all right? As you can see, we have been through a few wars with this thing, <laughs> if you will. I got this from Advanced Auto Parts. I can't remember the exact dimensions of it, but I will look it up and put it in the description below. I'll take a picture of it and, you know, put it in the video like I always do. But, all right, this is what you'll be needing. I believe it's like a one-inch socket or something like that, but three-inch drive. First thing first, you're gonna need your flathead screwdriver, pick, or whatever you use to take part the harness. Just use my thumb and my fingernail. And so you wanna go ahead and shimmy that back and forth. That comes up. Boop. 
Then you go ahead and put this socket over top of that. As you can see, snuggle fit. It's never been changed because I can't move that with my hand. Go ahead and all right, that's off. So let's go ahead and inspect that. Oh, one more thing. These fourth gens, five threes and six O's, they have a filter inside of there as well that needs to be changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this filter out and see if it needs to be changed. If not, I'll just clean it and put it back in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get that out. Alright? Hang tight. Alright. <sighs> I typically always use like an old bolt like this. Can't tell you the exact size, but you just screw it in there a few times. And when it feels like it's gonna catch, you just put it right up. It's pretty dirty, so we can go ahead and clean it up. But it's not as bad, I've seen worse. But the actual sensor in this vehicle was dead. Like it wasn't giving it a reading, it was saying circuit low and all that good stuff. So it had no more resistance in it. But while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and put that back in there like usually if it has like thick sludge on it not like that it's worse than that you can't even see the filter when it's like black and thick and it look metallic or something like that you need to change this thing but like I said again like I said it's not that bad I've seen worse so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it and put that back in there and then install a new sensor put everything back together and she's good to go now right, let's get into it and there you have it may look new, but it's not installed. Like I said, I've seen worse. And when those gates started getting ripped up and stuff is all in there, it needs to be changed. It looks like a little five out part at, um, at Vans Auto Parts and stuff like that, but here we go with a new one. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Well, first thing first, of course, the filter needs to go on. I'm not sure you guys how to do that. Oh shoot, talking mushrooms. I dropped it. Where did you go? Alright, now I gotta come back again because I dropped it. Alright. That sucks. Where the hell did you go? God darn it, Dale. Alright, I gotta cut the video. I'll be back. I gotta find this damn thing. Alright, I'm back upon it. <laughs> Drop to the floor. But because it's not metal, you know, couldn't even hear it. Alright, loosen up the screw. Like, loosen that screw to like the last, to like the last turn on there. Put it in there. It's gonna take a little plant around with, but. And if you want to make sure that it's in there, you take a smaller one and you go around the edges of it and you push it back in there and it's in there. And no, it ain't going nowhere because of that rubber gasket that holds it in place. So give you, give it some good hand turns and when you can't hand turn it anymore, that's when you go ahead and use the trusty, but you do not overturn or over torque it, you know. Using a ratchet or something like that. You know, just a couple times until it gets tight, and boom, that's it. That's it, huh? Yeah, just put it right there. Appreciate you. All right, and this is why I take the intake off right here. All right, and this is why I take the intake off, right? See how dirty and filthy that is? Uh, I know the previous video was like, oh, man, you ain't had no paper towels in there. Wasn't worried about nothing dropping in there. Yeah, because, you know, I made it do what it do. I got all the little debris that fell down in the um, cylinders out. I kind of, like, picked them out, as you can see, uh, with the uh, pick two. And now I'm going to go ahead and clean up these intake ports and clean up this valley right here. Go ahead and put the intake on, tighten it back up, and be done. All right, now. All right. So, one thing I didn't tell you guys and share with you. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys now. I know my music is blasting, I'm sorry, but this is the way I get it cranking. 
all right? These five threes, six O's, all of these LS intakes have a torque sequence that you have to do. It's 44 pounds in the uh, first pass, and it's 85 foot pounds in the second pass. So what you do is, uh, what, yeah, it's 89 pounds, I'm sorry. Um, so what you do is, you're gonna go from the middle, from the middle, from both sides, then two up front, then to the back, and then two to the sides. But like I said, I'm going to go, go ahead and post a picture of it so you guys know exactly the torque sequence. And like I said, when you tighten it down, you don't tighten it down all the way. Um, get you a torque wrench and you do 44 foot pounds. Once you got it all tightened down, 44 foot pounds, and then you go over it again, 89 foot pounds, boom. Done deal. All right, so let's go ahead and get that going. And after that's done, we can put everything else back together, intake, injectors, plug back up and everything. I'll get this one out the door. All right, let's go. A little bit chilly out here, so as you can see, it went from about 50 up to about 40, 41 PSI. So that tells me everything I need to know. Everything is in working order. We ain't got no smoke. We ain't got no lifter tapping. We ain't got no knocking. None of that. So she's nice and clean and uh, Run it smooth. So you already know, as I sign off, happy wrenching. Coach K over and out, brother. Band to a A, yeah. P been eating good. He need Versace on his plate. I got the grand. I got the grand. I dirty dance on Figaro. A Figaro. Out in the D, I move them bitches in the snow. Oh, what you know? I keep it proper. Got it locking on the stove. I'm on the stove. I need about 24 show. Uh.